Greetings, M14 family. I hope everybody's staying healthy and safe. By now, we're all aware of the Reopen Illinois five-phase plan, and I wanted to go over the protocol within the facility once we enter into phase three. Please note, as we go from phase three to four and four to five, we will adjust these policies. Having a healthy and safe environment has always been a premium, and we'll continue to do that, and here's how. Number one, we will limit group sizes to 10. Once we get into phase four, we will increase the sizes but still comply with the reopen plan. Number two, for all group sessions, which will include camps, team practices, and training sessions, we will not use the front entrance. Players will now enter and exit the building directly onto the court they are training on. Communication on which door to enter will be emailed out before the first session and will not change. We ask players to wait in their cars until the session begins or practice social distancing while waiting by the door. Number three, for all private lessons and shooting machine rentals, we will use the main door for entering and exiting. Number four, we will only allow players and coaches in the building. Parents can wait in their cars in the parking lot until the session is over. The lobby, concession area, and film room will be closed until further notice. Number five, we would like all players to be fully dressed before entering the building, and we would also like them to have a face mask on. Players will not train with a face mask on, but should wear it when entering and exiting the building. Number six, players should bring their own basketballs. We also would like players to bring disinfectant wipes or a small bottle of soapy water with a wash rag. We will ask players to wipe their basketballs down before and after sessions, and they will only be using their basketball during the sessions. Number seven, we ask players to bring their own water to drink, which will help limit the usage of water fountains. Number eight, we will only be allowing two people in the bathroom at one time. Number nine, we will have 15 minutes between group sessions to ensure all players from the previous group session have exited the building, and that way our staff will be able to wipe down the bleachers before the next group enters. And number 10, sessions will be non-contact until further notice. With these parents, we're also asking everybody to use a common sense approach. If your player's not feeling well, let's leave them at home. We're all excited about getting back into the gym, but health and safety is at the forefront of our decision-making process. So let's see what these guidelines are gonna look like in action. As we approach the facility parents, you will see now on the north side of the building, we have the doors labeled door one, door two, and door three. And on the south end of the building, we have doors four, five, and six. These are the doors now that we're gonna to use to enter and exit the building when we are doing group sessions. Okay, so before we get started, parents, I do wanna say this. Back in March, uh, I implemented some different rules and some restrictions uh, that how our training sessions would go. I'm really, really, really happy to say that every single player and every single parent followed those rules. We're gonna have to do that again, parents, okay? We need to work together just like we did in March. So I'm asking you, please, please, please talk to your player, make sure they understand the rules, they understand the restrictions, they understand the protocols, so we can make sure that we have a safe and healthy environment, okay? So let's get started. So I'm standing at the front entrance. Remember, we're not gonna use that to enter or exit the building for all group sessions, team practices, camps, uh, or training sessions, all right? For shooting machine rentals as well as private instruction, we will use this entrance to enter and exit the building, all right? Remember, we're not allowing any parents into the facility. Parents, we have 300 spaces for parking. You can wait right here in your cars uh, during the training sessions. Front lobby, concession area, and film room will be closed, all right? So for this exercise, parents, I've asked some of our players uh, to help show exactly what a training session is gonna look like, okay? So I've exited the front entrance and I'm heading to the south side of the building. Remember, we have every single door numbered and we'll email you to let you know which door your session uh, is going to be held on and where you should enter and exit the building, okay? So now you can see we've got some players that are waiting out here, social distance, we have some that are in their cars, okay? So they're gonna end up getting out the cars now and then everybody's going to end up entering the building. All right, parents, so once the players enter the gym, they're gonna find an X, and the X's are gonna be located on the benches as well as on the bleachers, and we're still gonna practice social distancing, okay? Immediately when the players get in the gym, we want them to pull out uh, the soapy water and their dish rag, and we want them to start wiping their basketballs down as well, okay? So normally when we enter the gym, parents, we always allow players to shoot around. While we're in phase three, we're not gonna allow that. We're gonna have players come in the gym, sit on the X, wash their basketballs off, and then we're gonna wait for the trainer to call them onto the court, okay? Let's check that out. So Coach Bobby's gonna do what we always do. 
We're going to give them some encouragement, tell them what's going on at the session. We'll start off our drills, parents, five lines on the baseline, but we'll go to two different baselines, all right? Still make sure we pack the social distancing, and we'll get our sessions going. In terms of the intensity of our sessions, parents, nothing's going to change with that. We still expect players to be low on the stance. We still expect them to get a great workout. All right, parents, so that's how it would look when we start off our sessions and we're starting stationary. If we were doing shooting, we would do the same thing. We'd have five lines on each of the baselines. We'd bring the players out, so we still make sure that we're staying separated, and then we'd go into shooting. So, Coach Bobby, why don't you take them through a little bit of our form shooting. All right, everybody needs to get into phase one. We're going to make sure our shoulders hunch over the ball, shooting hand on top, guide hand on the side, right? We're going to focus on phase three when we shoot, so we're focusing on getting our shooting hand in front of our guide hand. Make sure that guide hand fingertip is even with our forearm on the shooting hand. Got it? We're gonna hold until the ball hits the ground, then you get your rebound. Are we clear? All right, ready. Shoot. Nice. Good. Make sure you look at your hands before you get your ball. Make sure it's correct. Back into phase one. Shoot. Good. Hold your follow through. Good. All right, parents, so now let's check out and see what a water break is going to look like. No different than the beginning of the session. Coach Bob is going to blow the whistle. He's going to have everybody get water. They're going to hustle off the court. They're going to get on their X. They're going to get water. And just like the beginning of the session, we're not going to let players come back on the court, not during phase three. All right, not until the trainer tells them to come back on the court, okay? All right, next let's see what a training session is going to look like when we're doing the drills at the basket. Parents, you can see we'll have everybody line up and still be social distance apart. Finish at the rim, make sure we start low, jab without traveling, drive your shoulder, finish at the rim. Do we understand? All right, Ethan, you're up first. Ready, go. We expect the same intensity in our training sessions as we always have, parents. The only difference is, is we're gonna wait half a second to let the player get their rebound before the next player goes. Trainers are still going to be as intense, and we expect the players to still go as hard as they always have. Go, jab, one dribble, finish. So that's what our drills will look like when we're out of triple threat. Let's see what they're going to look like when we go off the bounce now. Coach, let's get them going. Last thing we want to show are drills that would normally involve a pass, but what they would look like now. Let's get them going, coach. All right, fellas, put it over here. That drill, so since you can't pass, you guys are just going to tell them once you guys can attack the ball, you can come off the screen, and you can come to the right? So you can stretch the ball, or catch, and you can make sure you catch inside the pivot, and catch low. Try to make sure you shoulder, two dribbles, three straight, six, seven, eight, and then you're going to check. So, that's the key to do first. Ready? Go. We'll get the ball straight. All right, so let's see how we're going to end the sessions now. Coach. No difference. We bring the players in, give them some encouragement, parents. We're going to ask them to wipe their basketballs down now. We're going to have them put their mask back on. All right, once everybody has their mask on, Coach Bobby's going to have them exit the building. All 
All right, so after the session's over with parents, uh, Coach Bobby's going to shut the door. Remember, we would have another group that's about to come in, but we have 15 minutes in between our sessions now, all right? During that 15-minute gap, we are going to have our coaches with their mask on. They're going to put their gloves back on. Once the gloves are on, then coaches are going to disinfect uh, the benches and the bleachers before the next group comes in. Remember, that's why we're not going back to back with our sessions. So there'd be another group outside waiting to come in the gym, social distance, and we do it again. All right, parents, I know these are different rules, different restrictions, but again, we want to make sure we're keeping a safe and healthy environment for our players to come back to. We're extremely excited to get everybody back going again. So we'll see you in the gym.